Welcome to the Working Man's Retrieve. <laughs> I'm your host and professional gun dog trainer, Dan Hosford. Now, on today's episode, we're doing something kind of special. We're going to spend a day at Miller's Ranch. Now, the purpose for that, you've heard me talk about Miller's Ranch before. It's a game preserve, a bird preserve. And the reason we use a bird preserve is because it's a great way to get our young dogs introduced to birds. So today should be really exciting because this is going to be Annie's first pheasant hunt. Oh, that's right. Yes. Yes, her first one. So we should be able to get lots of training opportunities during this visit. All right, so along with that, to help the handlers get a little bit better for the dogs, they also have a five-stand sporting clay set up up here. We're going to go up and do some practicing there as well, shoot a box of silver shells, see if we can't get our eyes tuned up, and then come down and see what we get the puppies to do for us. So not only is today going to be Annie's first pheasant hunt, we're going to feature Annie's first Annie's Alley. Correct. A brand well, new segment. Exactly. Awesome. Where I'm going to go through teaching her the two finger hold condition response awesome. technique. All right, folks. So with that, what do you say? You sit back, relax, and let's start building teams for the field. Retriever is brought to you by Dave Smith Motors, the world's largest Dodge and Chrysler dealer. Eddie Bauer Sports Shop, 90 years in the making. Hemplers, authentic European smoked meats, family owned since 1934. Paw Print Genetics, the definitive resource for canine genetic. Truck Vault, secure vehicle storage solutions. Working Man's Retriever, building teams for the field. NARA, conservation through the development of trained retrievers. Hey, I want to introduce you to the first segment of Annie's Alley. Now, the purpose of this is because Sanine is going to take her seven-month-old puppy here, Annie, and we're going to go through the two-finger hold. We're actually going to go through the whole condition retrieve sequence, but we're going to start with the two-finger hold, and Sanine's going to be doing all of this work for us. The reason we're starting with Annie's two-finger hold is because up until now, she's been able to have just about anything in her mouth. I mean, Typical she, puppy yes, stuff, right? Just about anything. <laughs> yep. So what we want to do is be able to teach her that she needs to be able to hold on to my two fingers in her mouth until I give her the release command to drop. What do you What do you expect to happen? Her to spit my fingers out. That's right. That's exactly <laughs> what she's going to try to do, exactly, right? Exactly. Right. So what you're going to teach? What we're going to What we want you guys to see is how we get her to hold those fingers and not be allowed to push them out. So I'm going to start by putting on my gloves. And because Annie heals on my right, my right hand is going to be my control hand, and my left hand is going to be my off hand. So I'm going to start by taking my right hand, and I'm going to take my thumb and my middle finger, and I'm going to gently press upon her muzzle right in back of her canine teeth. And as I slightly squeeze, she's going to see slowly slightly open up her mouth where I'm going to take my index and my middle finger and I'm going to begin to roll them into her mouth. Oh. And I'm going to make sure that her lips are up yes. and her lips are down. Correct. Very good. And then give her a slight hold. Yes. Now. And yep. Good. That's a good girl. Now she's starting. I can feel her tongue starting to push against my finger. So I'm going to give her another hold. Good. What a yeah. hold. Good. And I'm giving her that command every time that she takes her tongue. Hold. And starts pushing against my mouth, or my fingers. Hold. Good. Good. A drop. Good. Go. Good girl. Very good nice. Girl. Good Very girl. Good girl. Nice. Try that again. Yes, absolutely. Okay, we're going to take our thumb again. Press down. That's behind her canine teeth. Force the lips between her teeth, right? Yep. Roll our fingers in, lips up, lips down, hold. Control it, that's right. Hold. Demand compliance. Good. Good job, good, hold. Stroke slowly. Good. That's nice. right. Good. Now the purpose of the stroking on her head is to hold. get the puppy's mind off of the fingers that are in her mouth. 
when you're touching her someplace else on her body, her oh. mind will switch over to where that movement is, thus making it easier for her to understand she must hold the fingers. Good. Hold. Very good. Now you see how much calmer she is now? Because Sunina is taking control hold. of the situation. Every time that she pushes against Sanin's fingers, she says, hold, and gives just a little hold. tug on that bottom chin. Good. Very nice. What a nice girl. Good. Drop. Good Lots girl. Lots of praise. Very nice. Good. Now, I can see that this lesson, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> this lesson <laughs> would probably take me two, three times to do, but it could take <clears throat> up to four. You mean per days? Lessons, yes. Le lesson, yeah, right. And you mm -hmm. can do... Two lessons a day. You could get away with three lessons a day at this stage if you wanted to. Okay. I would surely suggest you do at least two. Okay. But okay. at the same time, you need to do this finger insertion, the two-finger hold itself, three to four times in each of the lessons. Okay. okay. So that she begins to understand the habit of what you're teaching. It helps you have more control of the puppy as well. Exactly. Exactly. And again, this is just, she needs to learn at the beginning of her... First adult time, life. Yeah, first time it's ever happened. She She's never had anybody control her like you're trying to do right now. Exactly. So that's why it's so important that you continue with this same sequence so that she begins to get a habit of what's going to happen. She'll begin to calm down and listen more to your words. Okay. okay. Once we've mastered this, what's, what's next on our agenda? Once we master this piece, and I think probably the next thing we would do with her is go to the two-inch bumper. Okay. Right? Sounds good. Absolutely. I think that's something we'll do in the next... You, you practice this for the next week. Next week, we're going to introduce that two-inch bumper. Sounds How's good. That? Sounds good. Awesome. Well, folks, you practice hard. Remember to feel your dog. And remember to have fun. And we'll see you back. That's the main thing. Have fun. Episode. Don't get upset, but have fun. Exactly. Uh, my name's Scott Miller. I own Miller Ranch and Hunting. This ranch is 15,000 acres. Uh, we have 1,000 acres that's dedicated to the upland bird hunting. And then we do all of our waterfowl hunting and turkey hunting on uh, different parts of the ranch. All of our guided waterfowl hunts are provided by, by Steve Hanning with Outdoor Hunting Adventures. And he does fully guided hunts, provides all the decoys, does all the setup for you. Uh, everything's done for you, so all you got to do is shoot birds. We've got uh, a kennel of dogs where we do guided hunts. If you want to come in with your own dog, you can do your own thing with your own dog. Uh, great place to train dogs. Uh, we've got uh, unique ground, good cover. We also have a sporting clay course. It's a five stand, six traps that throw all, all different directions. So if somebody wants to warm up in their, their shooting, uh, they can do that. We offer lodging. We've got two nice lodges. Uh, one of them's got uh, eight beds in it. One of them's got six beds. We've got a nice clubhouse that uh, everybody can come in and enjoy. We've got a pool table. Everybody comes in and registers in here. And in the back room, we've got a nice cleaning facility so uh, anybody can clean their birds uh, if they'd like. Uh, we also do the cleaning of the birds ourselves. Uh, we're located about uh, 35 miles southwest of Spokane, right off of I-90. We're about 12 miles off of I-90, right by the town of Sprague, Washington. We're open from September 1st all the way through March for our upland bird hunts. And we start turkey hunting on April 15th all the way through May and then we're closed from May to September and then we were open again all the way through the season and hope to see you then. <laughs> we, we just got the bird planted you see right out there where the orange ribbon is. Yes. All right now that's I don't know probably 40 or 50 yards out there which is a good place to start with her. The ribbon is long enough that you'll get to see where the wind is moving Okay, so it kind of gives you an idea about how the scent cone is coming off of that station. Okay. Okay, the puppy didn't get to see where the bird was down, which is very important because we don't want her anticipating before we even get a chance to get there because it makes it a lot more difficult than to control her. Okay. So you girls are all loaded. Yep. Safeties are in place. Everybody's yep. ready to go, right? Yep. Okay, remember, this is all about safety, so keep your eye on the dog at all times. Shit. All right, Brett, are you ready? All right, let's go, ladies. Try to let her... Yeah, okay, if she's hunting like that, let there her hunt go. for a little bit because, you know, she hasn't done this before. I'm a girl. Here. Up until now, we've been using a lot of pigeons to do this. Yes. But now this is her, you know, this being her very first pheasant hunt, it's going to take her a little bit to understand what we want. Mm. There you go. Very good. Oh. There. I'll be ready. 
Yeah, what you did I, was absolutely had, awesome, dude. Sanine pulled up and then pulled back down because she was coming upon the cameraman. Yeah. That was a very, very good choice. Again, coming back to safety, huh? Here. Keep talking. Encourage her. Here. That's a girl. Good girl. Present. Sit. That's, That's what, we have what to we're work gonna. On. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Okay. Okay. So let me have this bird. And Sit. I'll get him out of your way. Sit. Sit. There we go. Good. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> You little sweetie, you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Okay. The reason I want to talk about this a little bit later is because this can be dangerous, not just to you, but it can also be very dangerous to the dog. Okay. There's been cases uh, that I've heard of that where the dog jumps up like that to grab at the bird, and because they're on uneven ground or whatever happens, young dogs that don't have don't have the bones haven't all calcified well yet, can come down and break a leg. Okay. And so it's not a healthy thing. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit later about how we fix that. Okay, okay. that'd be great. Awesome. That a girl. Come up. That's it. Come up. Here. Good. There That's you go. Nicely done. Good. Yay. Very nice. Good. Good. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, see? There's the other one we're going to talk about. Let me hold that for you. We'll fix that one. When we get back up, get the birds cleaned up, we're going to talk about how to do that. Okay. Okay. Because that one's pretty, that's pretty important. I See tell it. you what, we've had an absolutely See awesome training lesson. I'm, I'm impressed with how you two are coming along. And you, obviously, you can see your work now, how, and, and you're beginning to put it all together. Here. Uh, now, it all comes together in the book the way we Here. want to. So let's let's go back to the clubhouse. See let's it. get warmed up a little bit. Okay. And we want to talk a little bit about that jumping thing that we did here so that we get this. But let's get warmed up. Okay. Yeah, it's something so I need to get addressed with her before something. Dang, well, it's bad for you and bad for the dog. Exactly. All right, so let's do that. Let's go get warmed up. Let's get some cocoa. Here. All right, folks. Now, the other day at the pheasant hunt, you remember that Sanine had her puppy out here, Annie. Now, that was Annie's first hunt, so she was getting into the quartering parts. But as soon as we had the first bird down and we got back to Sanine, the puppy was jumping at it all the time, trying to grab a hold of it a second time. And it can be kind of dangerous. So, not only with your gun, but with her jumping up and biting at the bird, she can be biting at your hand, too. Accidentally, there's no intentional thing to this, but it can be very painful. So. What we talked about was how we were going to go about fixing that. Now this is pretty important because there isn't a dog out there that I've seen that doesn't start jumping at the birds if once it begins to think that it's okay to do that. So we're going to fix this particular sequence with electrical stimulation. So as we talked about before, I want you to have your dog with a with receiver on like what Sanine has Annie with right now. And it's set to a level of stimulation that is comfortable, that would be her normal training level. In this case, what do you have it set on? I have it on a three, and on I would three. start with a low. Okay, a low, a low three. three, that's fine, because remember with our collars, we have multi-intensity availability. So it's very important that we do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk out here, a little okay. bit over to the, to the back here behind you a little bit. I'm going to throw this duck in the air, and I'm going to shoot a pop pistol mm -hmm. to get the puppy excited. Yes. I want her facing me. Okay so that she can see everything that I'm doing. Now, she does not need to be steady. And by steady, I mean, she doesn't have to sit beside Sanine until she releases her with her name. In fact, I want her to break. 
I want her to leave. As soon as I throw that duck, this duck, I don't care if the dog goes. It's perfectly okay. Because steadiness is the very last thing that we teach. We have to have all the obedience done, all the other stuff going down before she begins to understand how to set still for us. Here. Okay? Here. So once she grabs a hold of that bird, without using any electrical stimulation now, I want you to whistle her back to you. Okay. As she comes back to you, I want her to come back around here and hopefully heal up and sit down. If she doesn't heal, it, because she isn't conditioned, she isn't forced yet, the condition retrieve hasn't been done, I don't care about that. Okay. As long as she comes back to you and you can get the bird. Okay. Now, once Sinine grabs the bird and starts to pick it away is when the puppy's going to start jumping at it. What I want you to do, every time she jumps, I want you to be able to find the level that she's jumping to, as high as what she's going to possibly want to jump, to what should be close to the bird. At that same instant, I want you to say, sit and use momentary stimulation at the level you've selected here to make her think that as soon as she reached, she got to that height, that's when the stimulation happens. So you kind of like build a ceiling there. So every time she jumps up, hits that ceiling, you're going to apply that nick and say, sit. Okay. Should at any point, should I bring my level up to a medium or a high if I don't see it? Absolutely. Okay. If after your third time of her jumping, if she's not making progress, then by all means go up a third of an increment. Okay? okay. With the idea that you're going to go low to medium, and if it still isn't working, dial up one primary level and then start again at the low. Okay. Eventually she's going to realize that her jumping is what creates the discomfort of that momentary stimulation when she's reached the height of the bird. Now you don't want to hold the bird up here really high, just hold it up here about halfway, but by all means keep it up high enough that she can't reach it easily. All right, y'all ready? I'm ready, all let's right. go. You guys are ready. Let's see go it. through this thing so you can see how all of this happened. All right, all right, here we go. Hey, pop, 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 pop. Hey, there you go. Here, that's a girl. Heel, heel. Now go ahead and grab your duck. Okay, she's played with enough. Sit. Grab it now. Be ready with your collar. Now walk away a little. Bit. Sit. Perfect. Now tell her what a great dog Good. she is. Some, there you go. Tell her how great Good. she is. Because sometimes that, there you go. Sit. Count to two. Sit. Now once she's set down, count to two. Sit. And then start praising her again. Good. Good. Sit. Now Good. you should be up on your medium level now, yes. correct? Yes. Sit. 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 Now, Good. if she jumps, if she if she Sit. gets two jumps in there, you get two nicks in there. Okay. Every time she begins to raise up, Sit. I want you to nick that. All right? Sit. Go ahead. Move over Good. a little bit and face and get close. There you go. Sit. Sit. Now, there. Now you see that shake yeah. we got there? That shake that you got means that she received the stimulation, but it's not so high that you've worried her or scared her because she's still trying to figure Sit. out a way to get to that duck. Sit. Good. 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 Now wait. Yes. Now when you can praise like you've done Good. there for two or three seconds worth, and she'll sit and wait for you, you can move your bird like you're moving it there. Sit. Sit. You're going to pass the bird off to me. It's going to give you another opportunity to work on that nick. Okay. Once you've handed it to me, you're taking Sit. it further away from her. Sit. Sit. And she's going to get more excited. So she's going to try to jump again for me. And when she does that, I want you to use that nick. Sit. Okay. Sit. Have her sit now. No simulation. Just sit. have her sit. Good. Praise her. Now I'm going to tease her a little bit again. Sit. Sit. There you go. Good. I'm not going to tease her. I'm just going to move around a little bit. Okay. Okay. Hold the bird up a little bit high again. Very good. Watch her. Sit. Make her sit. Sit. It's okay to come back and repeat your sit if okay. she's in motion like she is here, but you won't use electrical stimulation for that. Oh, okay. The only stimulation is when she tries to jump up to get the bird. Yeah. Okay? Okay. All right. So let me go over. I'm going to repeat this once more. If she's as effective the second time, as she has been at this point, we're going to call it good. Again, okay. do not steady her. Okay. All right? Here, heel, sit. You see how important, folks, the obedience is to this. She's got to have an understanding of her obedience before we can begin to correct these kinds of things. Okay. All right? Sit. Ready. Hey, pup! Sit. <laughs> recall, recall, recall. Here. 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 Ah, it's my girl. Good. Here. Here. 
That's my girl, heel, heel. That's close enough. Heel. Go ahead and take your Sit. bird because we don't care about a finish Sit. yet. Sit. Now be ready. Sit. There we go. Well, that's awesome. good enough. Awesome. That's good enough. Let me Sit. have your bird now. If she jumps again, be ready. There we go. Good. All right. That's all this lesson needs. Yeah. You see the success yeah. that we got here? She's beginning to understand the concept. Now, tomorrow you would come out with that bird and do the yeah. same sequence again. Because yeah. it's always about repetition. But you see how well this has cleaned her up already? Exactly. And we didn't have to get hard with the electricity. Yeah. We were reminding her that up here it can be uncomfortable, so obviously you've got to stay down lower. No, and her right? attitude is great. So Absolutely. Yeah, okay. still excitable. Yep. Cool. All right. Good luck, guys. This will work for you. Believe me, it will. Hi, right, folks. Sit. Hey, I hope you guys had a lot of fun in this episode of The Working Man's Retriever. I want to thank Miller Ranch because everything that Scott has done for us has been absolutely fantastic. The birds are great. The grounds are great. There's no better way to teach your dog than to have the kind of facility that we have access to here. So remember, folks, if you've got any more questions or you want any more information, please go to WMRetriever.com. And remember, have fun and let's build teams for the field. This is first Annie's Alley. Where today I'm gonna do. <laughs> you were scratching for words, weren't you? <laughs> I had to get it right up. <laughs>